Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be discussing why Zach Ertz needs to be traded to the Colts ASAP and why it makes sense for the Colts and especially why it makes sense for Carson Wentz. Before we get started though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. That would help my channel grow. And with that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So before we start talking about, you know, why Zach Ertz makes sense on the Colts, let's talk about what he'd bring to the table. Uh, so for starters, I mean, Ertz is a, you know, three-time Pro Bowler from 2017 to 2019. And throughout his career, he's been one of the premier tight ends in the NFL after being taken, I think, in the second round out of Stanford back in 2013. So Ertz is, Ertz is one of the better tight ends. And although last year wasn't his best season, you know, we've seen him play really well and at a really high level before. I mean, just look at his 2018 season where he had 116 catches for 1,100 yards and eight receiving touchdowns. And then the year after, he followed that up with 88 catches for 916 yards and six receiving touchdowns. And yeah, you're going to say, what about 2020? 2020 was kind of rough. 11 games, 36 catches, 335 yards, and one receiving touchdown. Those were pretty pedestrian numbers for Zach Ertz. However, he's still, you know, he's still one of the better tight ends in the NFL, and in the right system and the right scheme and with the right quarterback, I think we could see more of the 2017 to 2019 Zach Ertz rather than the injury-prone 2020 Zach Ertz. So with that said, now let's talk about the cap space that the Colts have. So Zach Ertz, you know, he's going to go into this year with a 12 point seven million dollar cap hit which is among the leaders among tight ends in the nfl so it's definitely a, a, up there it's definitely a bigger cap hit it's definitely a bigger salary but the colts have actually one of the bigger salary cap spaces left in the nfl because they haven't really spent in free agency so with that said you know zach Ertz has you know although he has a bigger contract the colts have the room for him now though let's dive into why zach Ertz makes sense with the colts so let's start with the Carson Wentz and Zach Ertz connection. So the number one thing is, you know, Carson Wentz is moving to the Indianapolis Colts. They traded for him this offseason, and they want a guy like Carson Wentz to succeed. So why not give him his favorite pass catcher in Philadelphia in Zach Ertz? I mean, those two were absolutely lethal together, uh, you know, during uh, Wentz's stint in Philadelphia. I mean, Ertz became a Pro Bowl tight end because of his connection with Wentz. So that connection there is something to really build off of. Also, you know, when you're putting a quarterback in a new system, you want him to feel you want him to feel familiar, excuse me. Uh, you want to feel you want him to feel f familiar with his old system, and you know, getting his favorite pass catcher, you know, in his old system for you know a relatively cheap price. Because Zach Ertz isn't going to be, you know, it's not going to be a first round pick. It's not going to be a second round pick. It might be a third, which would be a little bit, you know, it would be a little bit of a high value. But you could probably get Zach Ertz for a fourth and a seventh, depending on what the Eagles want for him. But nonetheless, I mean. You know, it just makes sense here. You know, Wentz is in a new, uh, he's on a new team in a new system, and the Colts could be in the market for a, you know, a legit tight end one. Sure, they have Jack Dole, sure, they have Mo Ali Cox, uh, but nonetheless, I still think that they can improve the tight end position, and, you know, getting a guy like Zach Ertz to fill the need at tight end, and then, you know, he's got the relationship with Zach, with, with, with Carson Wentz. They were very productive in their time together in Philadelphia. Um, they, 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 they had some great Pro Bowl seasons together, so overall, it just makes sense, you know, for Ertz to come to, to for Ertz to come to Indianapolis because he's got the connection to Wentz and he can make Wentz feel very comfortable in the Colts offense. Next up though, let's talk about the Colts need for a premier and dynamic pass catcher. So the Colts right now, they you know, they're lacking a true elite pass catcher. And although I don't think Zach Ertz is elite anymore, he's still definitely capable of putting up 750, 800 receiving yards in the right offense. And of course, with Zach Ertz there, that's going to work out. The Colts, I mean, if you look at the tight end position, uh, Mo Ali Cox is good, right? But he's not going to be a great tight end. He's a, he's a very good blocker, not a, an elite pass catcher. I mean, he can do some work as a pass catcher. Jack Doyle is much more of a pass catching tight end. But nonetheless, he is not the same guy as Zach Ertz. Zach Ertz is much better after the catch, much better in the red zone. And he could add another flavor to that offense. Also, so if you look at the wide receivers, the Colts aren't super deep at wide receiver either. I mean, they did draft Michael Pittman Jr. last year, but he, you know, we'll see how he ends up panning out. But they're they're not super deep at wide receiver. Their tight ends could get better. So adding a guy like Zach Ertz, who could, you know, he could put in the slot, you could line him up outside as a receiver, um, and you know, he can do a little bit of blocking too. 
gives you the overall, you know, guy, uh, it just basically gives you an overall chess piece on that offense that you can really put in multiple situations in multiple different areas and really have a lot of success with. And also, as I said, he's a dynamic pass catcher. He makes plays after the catch. He makes plays in big situations. That's what he's done throughout his entire career. And you pair him with Carson Wentz, and that matchup could be deadly. Now, though, let's talk about the Colts' use of two tight end sets. So actually, last year, the Colts ranked 12th in the NFL in targeting the tight end, and they were just above average in the NFL when it, when it came to using two tight end sets. And they were also ninth in the NFL when it, when it came to success rate when targeting the tight end position. So we can see that they are very successful when they target the tight end, and they target the tight end above average in the NFL. And also, I mean, we've seen this before um, with, you know, uh, Eric Ebron and Jack Doyle. The Colts like to use two tight end sets a lot there. And remember, in Philadelphia with, with Carson Wentz and Zach Ertz, they used two tight end sets more than any other team in the NFL. I think it was up near 35, maybe 36%. Remember, they also have Dallas Goddard there. Um, so it also makes sense for the Philadelphia Eagles to maybe trade away Zach Ertz because they already have another really good pass catching tight end in, in Dallas Goddard, who they can, you know, who's on a smaller deal. Um, and they can, you know, continue to develop him and get him to a, you know, a Zach Ertz type level. But nonetheless, you know, the Indianapolis Colts over the past three or four seasons have really utilized the tight end position more than a lot of other teams in the NFL have been above average for, you know, the past two or three seasons. So with that said, they're comfortable with, you know, u utilizing the tight end position and really making the tight end position a focal point of their offense. And with that said, you know, I think that the Colts could really look after, you know, a guy like Zach Ertz because you could continue to, t to target the tight end position even more. Um, and that would be something that we've seen in Philly, right? Very similar to what we've seen in Philly. And it all comes back to making your new quarterback feel comfortable in the system. You want to give Carson Wentz weapons. You want to give him, you know, the ability to feel comfortable in the system that he's in now. And, you know, utilizing the tight end position and really, you know, putting a focal point on two tight end sets, maybe even three tight end sets, really going heavy with those sets um, is something that would remind him of Philadelphia and it's something he, he had a lot of success with in Philadelphia. So overall, I think that it makes a lot of sense for Indian Annapolis, and it makes sense for Philadelphia. For starters, Philadelphia would be giving away, you know, a bigger contract. They're a little bit more of a contract strap team. And another thing is that, you know, they have another good tight end in Dallas Goddard that they can really utilize and really help grow uh, without Zach Ertz in the building. More importantly, though, I think for Indianapolis, it makes even more sense. They need a dynamic pass catcher, and Zach Ertz has been that during his career. Also, they need a, I mean, they can, they've focused on the tight end position for a while now, and I think that they could continue focusing on the tight end position with Zach Ertz there. And finally, it's all about making Carson Wentz feel comfortable. It's all about, you know, making his system in Indianapolis feel very familiar to the system in, in you know, in Philadelphia for him to, you know, see the things that are similar and, and be able to, you know, really hone in on those things and have those things that he can grow around and build around. And bringing Zach Ertz there and having that connection with Zach Ertz and the chemistry would really help elevate the, the Colts passing game. So overall, I think this is a no-brainer move for the Indianapolis Colts. It's probably, as I said, it's not going to be more than a third round pick. And even if it is a third round pick, I think it'd be worth it. Um, I think that, you know, it would really elevate the Colts passing game. It would really make them that premier team in the AFC South. And after the end, and at the end of the day, though, I just think that this makes a lot of sense for the Colts. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.